What's up guys, Shad Juice here. Going to pick up a video game lot right now. Um, it's got a few different systems, some games with it. Uh, me and this lady went back and forth. She seemed like a tough cookie at first. Just how she handled it, it was really weird. Uh, you know, I asked how much and she goes make offer, which I really, really hate making offers because usually somebody just gets, it seems like people just think you're gonna offer an astronomical amount of money, which I'm not. I mean, I'll offer what I think is kind of fair, but I'm not gonna start off really high, unless it's like some really, really expensive stuff and I really want it. Like, if it's just run of the mill things that you see all the time, I'm not gonna offer big money. I don't know if everything works or anything. I'm just going off of a picture most of the time, a blurry picture sometimes. And you know, cables could be missing, stuff don't work. So this lady told me to be a minch and uh, take what uh, it goes for at retail and take 15 to 20% off. I'm like, well lady, if you can find somebody that's gonna pay 80 to 85% value for all your stuff, go ahead. Have a nice day. And then uh, later she said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. And then I said, look, this is the price I'll pay. If not, I'm perfectly happy. And you know, you can take them wherever you want. So uh, she ended up accepting. It's two days later now, we're finally meeting up. So we'll see how this goes. Alright guys, sorry most of that was off camera. She just had a big box in the back and she probably went, didn't want her to lift it up or whatever. Uh, like like I said, uh, I already see a Game Boy Pocket that was in there. It's missing the battery cover. So, you know, stuff like that. You don't know that. And uh, the N64, there's an N64 and it does have Donkey Kong 64. But you would think there would be a expansion pack in there, but there's not. So, that kind of stinks. But I will show you everything when we get back to the house see you in a minute all right guys shad juice here just getting back from that uh pickup just getting back home i'm gonna show you what all i got um stuff is dirty needs cleaned up because that's one thing i told her like nobody's gonna give you 85 percent value and they have to do all this cleaning work because this a lot of work and we'll see first up we got nba jam it's got the game in there. She said there's some things at the bottom that didn't have like games or something in it that she didn't even picture because it didn't have the games. So we'll see what those are. We got a Sonic Spinball here. Case and game. Put the Genesis out the way here. We got a Arcade Classics Centipede and Missile Command. games in there i don't understand why a lot of the sega stuff was always missing manuals like why would you even took them out what did you do with them? ice hockey just trying to get the sega stuff first i guess sonic 3 case and cart probably 15 bucks for that fifa soccer 96 Got Aladdin. Not a single manual on these. 
I mean, that was an empty Sonic 2 case. A messed up Madden case. Let's pitch that. A six pack. All right, we'll just get into the other stuff in the box. It's a PlayStation 1 here. Dirty dual shot controller. Let's see if there's anything in here. Ooh, Monster Rancher 2. Hmm, it's got some swirling stuff on there. I don't know how good that, if it'll work. We'll test it, but that's a good game to find. We got a empty case for Halo. An empty box for Vigilante 8. 64. Speaking of 64, we got a Nintendo 64 that's got Zelda in it. Expansion pack? Nope. All this stuff's tangled up and dirty here. Sissy 4 controller. Yeah, it sticks decent on it at least. Got a Mad Cat's Xbox controller. Pretty dirty. Bunch of jumbled cords here. Not too bad. I'd probably say like a six on that stick on the purple controller. There is an Xbox One controller in there. I thought it was a 360 at first. I didn't even pay attention to it. So that's cool. Got another 360 controller. The thumbstick's bouncing. Got a rumble pack. Some corrosion and old battery in it. See, this is why you don't pay a lot of money for things. Still a good deal, but I mean, look how dirty this stuff is. That's just probably gonna be trash. I don't even mess with them controllers. That was something I put in there. Another Sega controller, dirty as hell. We got a quick shot for the Sega. For the Sega, 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 uh, Ariel, Little Mermaid Ariel game. I don't even know if I have that. Got uh, a Game Boy Pocket with Pokemon Blue in the back. Pokemon. Missing the battery cover. That's another thing you can't tell from the picture. We got an OG Xbox. Does have. Stop. The AV cord, I don't think it has a power cord, so that's another thing, you know. No power cord. It was an older lady, she don't know this stuff, it's her kid stuff, so I don't blame her for stuff like that, but like I said, you can't give 85% value for incomplete crap. Hey, there's a manual for aerial, but no case. <laughs> Army Men Sarge's Hero Case, six pack manual. Centipede Missile Pan Command uh, Manual. Vigilante 8 Manual. Hey, there's at least a few manuals in the bottom here. That ain't in there. Maybe a Jam Manual. Sonic 2 Manual. And let's get to the 64 games. We got Battle Tanks, Global Assault. What if I steal some? Cruising USA with some marker on it. There's a Vigilante 8 game. New game in it? WCW vs. NWO Tour. Surprise. Mario Kart. New game. Diddy Kong Racing. Diddy Kong Racing. Mace. I don't know if I have that one yet or not. I know I was missing it before. Donkey Kong 64. GoldenEye 007. And there was a Ocarina of Time. In the system. Copy of Kirby's Dreamland on Game Boy. 
and a memory card. Memory? And hmm. it goes to this one. Yeah, you're right, buddy. That uh, little gray thing went on the rumble pack. I was hoping it fit on the Game Boy, but nope. Um, My little helper here figured out where it went, didn't you? Right where? Yeah, right there. You're right. It went right there. And then uh, I got a funny little, I went to GameStop, tried to trade in this Sega I got, and uh, it's because they're giving $22 cash for them now, and that's pretty good for a Sega. And I went in with some other stuff first, and he wouldn't take the Sega because I gave him in the wrong cord. I think I gave him a Sega C paper clip. I gave him a Sega CD cord, so I went back out and I was like, oh, I just bought all this stuff. I do have a regular cord in there, so brought it back in, and he goes, oh, well, the stickers are peeling up a little bit, so this was a different guy than the first time. They can't take it because GameStop's really particular. I'm like, since when are they that particular? Because I've bought a couple fake games from them that they didn't even test at all, but, uh, I said, pretty particular, huh? I just traded you in an NES that was half yellow, but. Half yellow. Alright, see you guys later. Peace. He's like, yeah, that guy shouldn't have took that. I'm like, whatever, man. Peace out, This guys. stuff's like 20 years old. What do you expect? Peace out, guys. Peace out. Peace out? Peace out. He says, peace out, so it's time to go. Time to go, guys. Later. Later. Peace.